Hey everybody, uh, my previous video I had went over my weathering and mods I have done to the Spangler's Neutrona one. Um, I had some questions in the comments on how I went about doing those mods, specifically the twist hand, the twist barrel, and the hat light. Um, so I'm going to go over exactly how I did that. Uh, first and foremost, I had to remove the gun track. Um, as you see here, there, there are four screws that hold this in place on the gun body. Um, it's, they're sealed with plastic. Um, what I did was I used a drill bit to drill those out to get to the screws, but be very careful. It's very easy to strip the heads of these screws, as I have done too. And I've had to go and strip and continue to strip the head off with the drill bit so that I can uh, get this off. And I, I just went ahead and I replaced the screws for that. Um, so just be careful as you guys are doing that. When you get that off, on the bottom of the gun body, there are four more screws. You got one, two, three, and four. When you get those loose, you can slide this off like so. And then you can gain access to the inside of the gun body. Now you'll see here, um, there's a bundle of wires, um, there's some circuit boards, um, different boards for the lights, and there's actually a lot of room in there down there. I don't know if you guys can see, it's not zooming. Um, that white, kind of opaque plastic, that's the, uh, the vent light cover. Um, but for right now, we'll talk about the barrel. So the barrel, I already extended the the tip. Um, what you're going to want to do is pull this spring off. It just slips right over that plastic piece, move that aside, and there's going to be a screw here that I already removed for the sake of this video. Once that's removed, just that one screw, you can pull this whole barrel off. And just be careful of these, these wires, this white wire here, and this one that leads up through the, the gun body, or the, the barrel. Um, so to get the twist mechanism to work, there's right here you can see where I filed away um, some excess plastic. So there's two, there's like two notches that stick up on this side and on the opposite side of the barrel um, that prevent it. It acts as like a key or a lock once everything's closed back up and it prevents it from swiveling. Um, all I did was dremel that down, make it smooth, and then on the inside of the bottom of the gun body right here you can see that there is a notch that I cut out as well right there once you do those and you close it back up you'll have a, a rotating barrel um, it was not hard fairly easy to do um, and it's very sturdy once you put everything back together there's no wobble um, and this piece actually is just a, this, this wiring detail they had running on the outside. It's actually just a hunk of rubber. Um, it looks like it encloses some wires. It doesn't. But this actually helps as like a, uh, like a, almost like a spring, if you will, because it's, it's set in that, that way. So when you, when you turn it, it'll turn back to its original setting. Um, so that, that was actually a, a nice um, little treat to find that out. Um, the hat light, what I had done was, if uh, people who are not un who are unfamiliar with a hat light, a hat light looks like this. It's got this bezel or this brim um, that's, that makes it look like a hat. That's why they call it a hat light. What I had done was I had dremeled off the plastic hat light uh, detail that they had on the top of the gun body. And um, I found the correct di diameter um, drill bit to my hat light. I widened the hole. And what I ended up having to do, because on the inside, I tried to go up through the bottom, but the plastic is so thick on the vent light uh, covering, it, it, was, it wasn't sitting correctly. The hat light, the top of it was flush with the gun body. So what I had to do is just dremel or sand off this bezel all the way around, making it a, a nice cylinder. And I was able to then just drop it in from the top. It was a, it was a snug fit. Um, I got like I said, I got the correct diameter drill bit, and just for extra security from the bottom, I just added a couple of dots of super glue. Um, very simple, very easy. 
Um, the clippered, when you take off the clippered, um, just be careful because the original clippered is held in with, uh, with thin screws and on the back side, on the inside of the gum body, um, there are nuts. So when you take those off, those could fall out. So it's best to just do that while you have this open. This way you can quickly just remove those. Um, you will have to, if you're going to go with a, um, an accurate clippered, you're going to have to just drill a couple of new holes to make it, to make it fit. But that's very simple, and then you can just mount that right on, right onto the gun body. Um, and I think I covered everything. Um, like I said, uh, very easy mods. The twist barrel um, is really great. Uh, once you put everything together, you get no rattle, no wobbling. Uh, it's very sturdy. Um, you're not hindering the structural integrity integrity of the wand, and the mechanism. Um, as well when you when you extend the the, the barrel uh that that's there's no uh impeding there um one thing i'd like to note though this is a switch switch a pressure switch i don't know if you can see it. i'm trying to focus sorry guys i'm not a professional youtuber i'm just a guy in the kitchen um there's a little pressure switch right there and you could hear that that's for when the, the gun barrel goes in and out. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that. I might just disable that. Um, or I may keep it. I don't know. Um, I haven't decided yet. Um, aside from that, that's really it, guys. Um, it's fairly easy to work on, like I keep saying. Um, just be careful not to lose your screws or strip anything. Uh, when you tighten everything back down, hand tighten it. And uh, don't over tighten um, and as an added bonus to this video, um, I'll show you a little project I'm working on currently, and that is the Afterlife Ecto Goggles. Um, these are Spirit Halloween Ecto Goggles that I'm currently in the midst of redoing. Um, I got I to do a little cleanup work and a little bit weathering, but um, this is an actual Polaroid, and it will actually take uh, Polaroids, and it'll come right out the side here through that slot. Um, things I have to finish is, is like the lens, um, some weathering details just to clean up some of these hard edges that I, where I cut out. Um, I basically use scrap plastic that I had lying around uh, my house um, that I think was like a battery compartment that I fashioned to look like the, the flash bulb. Um, I had some extra ribbon cable that I was able to use. On this project you can see right there just gives it a little added detail um, and that's about it guys I'm sorry about this focusing um, hope you guys enjoy the video please leave me uh, questions comments and thanks